Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name's Ed, and in this video, we're going to show you how to import a PST file into a user's mailbox. Now, in the previous video, we showed you how to do an export of a mailbox to a PST file, and I'm going to use the same PST file that I did the export to do the import. So, to show you, you can see there's the new mailbox export request. I did it for user 41, for example, and this is the share location and then the file name. If you have a look at the command now, it's basically doing the import request. So as mentioned, uh, for exports and imports, you do need those permissions, as we showed you in the previous video. If you do not have permission, then this command won't be recognized. So in this example, we're going to do an import into user 51 and we're specifying the location for the PST file. Now, there are many ways you can do this. You can specify target uh, root folders. Um, you can specify include folders. Uh, I'm not concerned with that here. I'm just going to run this import. Just want to show you how it's done. And you can see that it's basically queued. Now I can do the same thing again. I can get the import statistics. And you can see that it's successfully imported. Now, in some cases where you would want to use um, include folders is you might only want the user's inbox or only their sent items or the you know whatever folders where there's data that you want maybe you don't want the whole mailbox it's up to you to decide or what the business wants for you to do so just remember importing a mailbox obviously will increase the size of the current user's mailbox now in this example um, this PST file is only 265 kilobytes but I mean I've seen massive PST files so just remember if the user's got a, f a 100 gig mailbox, for example, and now you're bringing in a 2, 5, 10, 20 gig PST file, which, I mean, obviously the bigger they are, they're not really uh, supported because uh, there is potential data loss. You're going to grow that user's mailbox. So just be aware that you might need to adjust their quotas so that they don't hit the send receive limit because the, they might be capped at 100 gigs or at 102 gigs, whatever their quota center in your organization. Thank you very much for watching.